Assalomu alaykum hurmatli talabalar. Bugun sizlar bilan O'zbekiston Milliy universiteti xorijiy filologiya fakulteti ingliz filologiyasi kafedrasi o'qituvchisi Abdurahim Nanoyla Abdulhalimni asosiy o'rganilayotgan til amaliy grammatika fanida amaliy mashg'ulotimni boshlayman. Keling, mashg'ulotimni ingliz tilida olib borsam. Hello friends. In this lesson we'll discuss adjectives. What is it adjectives? Adjectives discuss a noun and are used in front of nouns. What is a noun? A noun is a word that refers to a person, place, thing, idea. An adjective usually comes right before the an own and names qualities of all kinds for example uh, we can use the for example like Rahim is a good person he is the best tennis player or Rahim is a clever person thereby good best and clever are the words that describe Rahim as a person in case in case of Taj Mahal, how can you describe what words come uh, into your mind? If I say Taj Mahal beautiful place, Taj Mahal is a very old place, or Taj Mahal is a big of white marbles, then beautiful, old, white are the things that describe Taj Mahal as a place. So. In case of ball, what are the qualities you can think about? If I say this is a colorful ball, this ball has a six colors, this is a big ball, then colorful, six and big are the qualities that describe the ball as a sink. So let's move to the idea. If I say idea, what types of idea you get in to describe? If I say I got a great dream, I got a scary dream, or I got a funny dream, then great, scary, funny are the things that describes idea of all dream. So this is twelfth word that actually describes describing nouns. All we can see they are giving more information about nouns that they are called adjectives. So don't forget the nouns and pronouns are technically technically same the same. Pronouns is a word that used instead of a noun or noun phrase. Adjectives are words that describe nouns and pronouns. Now let's look at the some example to make things even clearer. Ram is a tall person. Here tall is a quality that describes Ram. So it is an adjective, an adjective. And this is a small ball. Here with the help of word small we get to about the note to about the size of ball. So it is an adjective. Shreya has a five chocolates. Here we get to know about the quantity of chocolates Shreya has using five words. I hope you catch the meaning of the adjective and why we use adjectives. Now let's learn about the degree of adjectives. Adjectives have a three degree of comparison. Positive, comparative and superlative. So why do we need degrees of comparison? It is used when we are comparing things positive degree of adjective is to, to describe it's not used to compare anything comparative degree is used to compare compare two things and superlative degree is used to comparing more than two things let's watch uh, the, this example to better understand degree of adjective ram is a tall boy here tall is an adjective we only describe Ram not comparing with any other person, that is why we call it positive degree. Let's look at another example. Sham is a taller than Ram. Here taller is the adjective. We are comparing two person height. 
person's height, so it is a comparative degree. Divi, she is the tallest among the all three of the two of them. Here, tallest is an adjective, and uh, we are comparing three person height. That's why it is a superlative degree. Now let's go to the chart. So tall is a tall is a positive degree, taller is a comparative degree, and the tallest is a superlative degree. Positive degree can be converted into comparative. And the superlative degree, let's look into example of them by adding ER for comparative and ES for superlative at the end of positive degree examples. Bright, brighter, brightest, cold, colder, coldest, strong, stronger, strongest. Let's try another way to change degrees. By adding R for comparative and SC for superlative. Here is an example. Fine, finer, finest, wise, wiser, wisest, white, whiter, whitest. Uh, they have uh, the same form as a single polar adjective. They do not change for male and female. So <coughs> There are some adjectives that cannot be converted like this, a regular adjective. The, these words don't add any suffix, suffix that we discussed above. You should memorize them, uh, for example, good, better, best, bad, worse, worst, little, less, least. Let's quickly, quickly what uh, Repeat what we learned in this uh, video. Adjective. Adjectives. They are words that describe noun or pronoun. And to give the adjective, they, ha they have three degree: positive, comparative, and superlative. Thank you for your watching. See ya.